Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in support of Fashion Revolution Week, which is a campaign and a movement bringing awareness to the devastating effects that the fashion industry has on people around the world and the planet in general. April 24th is the anniversary of the Rana Plaza factory collapse that happened in Bangladesh in 2013. It killed over a thousand people and injured many more. And so Fashion Revolution is a really great um, sort of initiative to get people talking about the fashion industry and um, trying to get people to reach out to brands they love to put a little bit more transparency in their supply chains and show that you don't need to buy fast fashion or support fast fashion to get really cool pieces of clothing. So my video today is a alternative video and basically what that means, sort of as it sounds, it's an alternative to a haul. Instead of showing a bunch of mindless purchases from fast fashion retailers, I'm sharing pieces that I'm adding to my small wardrobe that were really thought out and obviously bought secondhand. And yeah, I'm excited to share with you guys. It's funny because I don't technically have a capsule wardrobe anymore and I'm gonna keep this part short because I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video about my thoughts on the capsule wardrobe and what I've learned from it. I still sort of find myself doing seasonal updates. So most of these were purchased sort of in between the winter and spring season, right when things started changing because that's when I sort of look to refresh my wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoy. The first two pieces I'm going to show you, also they're still on hangers, is that weird? I don't know. I don't wanna to have to take everything off a hanger and then put it back on a hanger just for this video. So anyway, you guys know I work at home and I have a very casual lifestyle and I noticed in my last capsule I was missing just like basic t-shirts to wear. I was kind of reaching for my loungewear, like maybe a little bit not so cute t-shirts a little bit too much in my day-to-day -day life. So I wanted to find some really cute t-shirts that I can dress up or dress down and just wear on the day-to-day. So I found this one from a consignment shop. I really like that both of these are cropped because I only wear high-waisted jeans and bottoms. And I like that I can still show off my um, jeans in this and maybe like tuck in the front. And then this is another really simple one. I actually really like the color of this one. And then obviously stripes like all day, every day. Stripes are the best. So these are both really soft and light and I think they'll be perfect for spring and summer. Up next, I found this one at another consignment store, and I really love it. The skirt is so cute. Obviously a very sort of like trendy piece, but I love that the trend is sort of a nod back to the 60s style of clothing. Again, I like to dress more casually, and I think that having a skirt like this that's made out of a very casual material, this sort of um, faded black denim material in this shape is really cute because I can just sort of tuck in any t-shirt and wear my little lace-up sandals with it and just call it a day. Love this one. Up next is one of my favorites of my recent purchases and it's this vintage embroidered top from the flea market. I was wearing a very similar top in my last video when I was talking about national park stuff and these are just my favorite. How many times am I gonna say favorite in this video? I need to think of a new word. I just really love the texture on embroidered tops like this. It's so just detailed, obviously. There's like little birds embroidered on here and then some little like, um, almost like ruffle detailing on the front. And I, it's just so cute. So this one actually was about this long when I bought it from the flea market and I just sort of hemmed it because it was a little bit like bordering on maternity style because it was like long and very obviously like tent-like. Um, but when it's at this length, I think it's much better for my figure. I like that it's loose because I plan to wear it with my Levi cutoff jeans um, in the summer, obviously in spring. And I think that combo of like my tighter shorts with the looser top, again, with the shoes that I keep talking about, the lace-up brown shoes, I think it's just gonna be a really fun look. This next piece is another sort of interesting top. I picked this up at Crossroads a, about a month ago and I really like it. It's obviously 
a little bit oversized, very much oversized. But I like pieces like this because for me, I can really dress them up or really dress them down. For example, I recently wore this to a dinner party with a black camisole and I tucked everything into some black um, pants. So it wasn't super dressy, but for me it was dressier. I wore like a pretty vintage necklace too. And I also plan to wear this in the summer, like at the beach with cutoffs and a bikini top underneath. So I feel like it could really go either way. Obviously I'll wear sunscreen so I don't get a crazy suntan like through this lace detail. But my sister actually also borrowed this to wear to um, like a wedding shower, bridal shower thing. So it's been around a few times already, but I just really love the versatility of it. And I think I'm gonna really enjoy it in the summer. Sort of going back to just really simple everyday tops, I realized that I don't have very many um, sleeveless tops in my wardrobe, which is odd because I live in California. And so I tried this on at Tattered, which is a consignment store, and I just really like it. It's just an easy top to throw on over jeans or shorts. I like the little detail um, because I, oops, there's like fuzz on it. I try to keep things simple when it comes to pattern, basically pretty much in my wardrobe but this just has some nice detail it has a cute little tie in the back and the color is nice because um, it's bright but it's still sort of a neutral which is what I generally go for my goal honestly guys is to just have a very tight color palette so that everything in my life could just be like a Wes Anderson movie that's my goal <laughs> Joking, sort of, but not really. So anyway, this goes with my color palette of the things I have so far, and I just really like it. I was so excited when I found this next top because off-the-shoulder tops are the best. I have one that I picked up at Goodwill last year that you guys will have seen if you you know watch any of my summer capsule wardrobe videos from last summer because I wore it to death and I still have it and will wear it this summer to death too. But anyway. This is a off the shoulder top, obviously it can go down much farther when I'm actually wearing it. This is um, pretty large on me actually, and I plan to cut this a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous too right now, but it doesn't have any, it doesn't have a hem on the bottom, it's just a raw seam, um, or just like a raw material, I guess, raw fabric. So I think it'll be easy to just cut a couple inches shorter so that it's not so huge on me but I really like the off the shoulder detail. Obviously just perfect for summer, perfect for spring, and I'll probably wear it, you know, outside of those seasons too. Coming to the end here, I've got two more pieces. This one is another sort of oversized piece. It's actually very oversized, but I like it a lot. It's this sweater. I don't know if you can even see it in the whole frame, but it's got these sort of I don't know, are these called bat wing sleeves? It's very boxy with this rolled sleeve. And I like it because I wear it sort of off one shoulder, very relaxed feeling. Um, I wore it recently to a dinner, you know, with black pants and sort of dressed it up. But then over the weekend, I wore it too with my cropped, like, you know, lighter high-rised flare jeans. And it looked really cute too. Totally different looks, but just very comfortable and, um, fun for spring and summer. I could definitely wear this with shorts and um, those lace-up shoes too. This is just very cute and I love this style of sleeve. Even though this definitely isn't a winter sweater because trying to put a jacket on over these sleeves you, is just like weird. You get like that weird bunching under your armpit which is not cute. But for spring and summer around the house too, it's a perfect little sweater. And my last piece in this haul alternative is my newest piece. If you guys saw my last um, vlog video, you will have seen these already. There are these absolutely amazing vintage 501 Levi's that I found at the flea market. And they're incredible. They have the traditional button fly, which I'm so into. I'm gonna cut them so they're a little bit cropped and fray the bottom. I love the little details of the flowers. Obviously, it's so perfect for spring, right? This vendor that I get these from, from the flea market is so creative and I just love that little um, touch of whimsy, you know? It just makes it a little bit different than your normal stuff and I think they're just so, so fun. So that's my whole alternative for this season. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link all of Fashion Revolution Week's info in the description for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one.
Bye.